Hello, my name is Nicholas Schieffer. Um, I, I'm going to demonstrate my science fair project, which I call Apodora. Um, in my project, I developed a search algorithm that is especially applicable to microsearch, or search on things like Twitter tweets, Facebook status updates, and news headlines. So let me just start the program up. started. And here you can see the home page. I like to keep it nice and simple. I'm not a web designer, but uh, it's functional. Um, in my, my search engine um, involves an algorithm that I developed which tries to exploit the semantic relationships between words. Um, most other search engines make what is called the independence assumption, and they assume that words have nothing to do with each other. And while that simplifies the math a good bit and the computation, uh, it's a pretty terrible assumption, and it especially breaks down when you can't stuff your document through full of synonyms like you can in a web page, when you're limited to, say, 140 characters in a tweet. So to demonstrate that to you today, um, I've downloaded 1,500 Twitter tweets with the hashtag Japan, all relating somehow to the Japanese um, Tohoku earthquake. And uh, they were downloaded between May 8th and May 13th, and um, I'm going to show you a sample query um, for Sendai, the affected city in northeast Japan. So I'm going to perform the query, and uh, unfortunately I, I can only run the system on my laptop and not much else. So uh, it, it takes a while, unfortunately. You can see um, in the terminal that it has to go and compare um, this, the, its model of this, to every single other document, all 1,500 of them. Thankfully, this part of the algorithm is very well known and uh, very simple, so um, it's it's very easy to optimize, and it certainly um, could be used with a cluster, and it could go much faster. So this isn't really a concern as far as speed is concerned. So it's now done, and we have our results. And you can see um, it performed a search on Sendai on 1,500 tweets found between May 8th and May 13th with the hashtag Japan. And you can take a look at the results, both for my system, Apodora on the left, and for the baseline system, which uses the very famous term frequency inverse document frequency algorithm on the right. And so if you go and take a look at some of the results, um, the number one result for my system is travel information. The earthquake in northeast Japan, followed by a link um, providing some very useful travel information for those of you who might be traveling to Japan. Uh, in contrast, the top result for the baseline system is uh, a photo of people waiting in line to board a bus to leave Sendai. So I suppose both are relevant. Um, I would say that the one on the left is more relevant for my needs, but that is subjective. Um, really, we get more results when you start to look down the page a little bit. You can see that um, the baseline system not only doesn't come back for, with very many results, but also um, is mostly full of either retweets of the original or absolute garbage, somebody talking about their pet turtle or something. And uh, instead, if you look at, the, um, if my, at my system, you'll see that you get a number of other res relevant results, including the number of Geiger clicks per minute, also in Northeast Japan. And what's notably absent are tweets that just have the word Sendai in them. Because my system, has rather than doing simple string matching, or string matching on steroids, it has managed to do something much more powerful. It's managed to show, um, it's managed to try and understand what it is that Sendai is. And by looking at the statistics of natural language, my algorithm has realized that Sendai is somehow related to Northeast Japan. In fact, Sendai is in Northeast Japan. And so you can see that although I still have some noise in mine, no algorithm is perfect, and commercial search engines use dozens or hundreds or thousands of algorithms working together to give you your results, you can see that my results are a good bit better and a good bit more numerous. So, I hope you've enjoyed this demo of Apodora, and uh, if you'd like more information, um, you, can take, you can take a look at the link provided with the show notes.